Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from Erin Mayer and her intriguing book, The Culture Map. The book has the subtitle, Decoding How People Think, Lead and Get Things Done Across Cultures, and is, in its essence, a comprehensive guide for understanding the complexities that follow cross-cultural communication and management. Drawing on extensive research and personal experiences, Mayer presents a user-friendly framework for understanding how cultural differences impact interactions in the global business world. The book is structured around eight scales, each representing a key aspect of culture, and it provides valuable insights into how individuals from different cultures perceive and approach work. Mayer positions countries on each axis, each representing a range of possible behavior between two extremes. Each country's position represents the midpoint of acceptable behaviors in that country, which Mayer contends is enough to account for both individual and regional differences within a country. By understanding both your own and another culture's position on each axis, you increase the chances of accomplishing your business goals. You can also better evaluate others accurately. You learn which misunderstandings are due to cultural differences instead of incompetence. Here's our take on key insight from each of the eight scales. Communicating. This scale explores the degree to which cultures differ in their new preference for how best to communicate. On one end, we have cultures where the people are highly explicit and use direct language and clear communication. They believe it is the speaker's responsibility to state all relevant information strongly and explicitly. Conversely, we have more implicit cultures, relying more on context and non-verbal cues. In these cultures, people must read more between the lines. Here it is the listener's responsibility to decode the underlying meaning. Evaluating The evaluating scale focuses on how cultures provide feedback and assess performance. Some cultures are more direct and confrontational in their feedback, while others prefer a more indirect and diplomatic approach. Persuading Cultures also vary in their persuasive techniques. Some cultures rely on logical arguments and data, while others prioritize emotional appeals and relationships. Leading The leading scale addresses the different expectations and attitudes towards authority and leadership. Cultures may vary in their hierarchical structures and the extent to which individuals expect leaders to be decisive or consensual. Deciding Decision-making processes differ across cultures, with some cultures favoring top-down decision-making and others valuing consensus and group input. This scale explores the tension between individual autonomy and group harmony, shedding light on how discussions are made in diverse cultural contexts. Trusting Trust is a fundamental aspect of any relationship, and this scale examines the degree of trust that exists within different cultures. Some cultures prioritize task-based trust, relying on evidence of competence, while others emphasize relationship-based trust built on personal connections and familiarity. Disagreeing The disagreeing scale addresses the way cultures handle conflicts and differences of opinion. While some cultures encourage open debate and confrontation, others prefer to avoid conflict and maintain harmony. Scheduling Finally, the scheduling scale explores attitudes toward time and punctuality. Some cultures value timeliness and efficiency, while others prioritize flexibility and a more relaxed approach to time. In conclusion, the cultural map is a valuable resource for individuals and organizations seeking to enhance their cross-cultural competence. By providing a framework for understanding and navigating cultural differences, Erin Mayer equips readers with the tools to build effective relationships, communicate successfully, and collaborate across diverse cultural contexts. And there you have it, The Culture Map by Erin Mayer in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.